going to talk about functions in custom headers. Now what I mean by that is that we're going to create a header file for the first time and we're going to place it into a, um, a, a C source file. Okay. So first of all let's type up um, the header file. Now I've written it earlier. We've actually included the function inside here and we've saved it as utils dot h as you can see up there now I've put a comment here this uh, this is a header file contains utility functions now the the function that we usually declare in um, and define in usually in the main file w would was um, the square and square uh, is a function of integer type inside of of that function is another variable which we're declaring called x we're defining it here um, and we, we're saying it's a function of integer exactly the same as the way we, we declared it here where we define it and we open a bracket and we say return x times x so whatever um, input of value x is it will be multiplied and returned back into uh, the value of square so if it was 5 squared it would be 25 because 5 times 5 is 25 and it will return it back into the main function but here it's, it's in the header file so we don't actually need to mention this in the source code we just call square and it will just go into this file once these two files are linked up and they would call it and we'll see how that works in a minute okay so let's do that now drag this one down I've written the code already and we usually start with include stdio.h we've added this line now include and we put utils.h which is the file that we just showed you and we start by saying void get num that's another function called get num which we're declaring here and here is the main function here we say get num which we'll define later printf so we're not actually mentioning at all square this time we're not calling square from here inside this function we are declaring a few variables one is called num of integer type we're not giving it the value here and we've got another one called um, char which is a character type called the gain uh, okay and another one called char again and this time it's called OK and it's a type of character and we're, we're actually assigning the capital Y into OK capital and we're assigning a small Y or lowercase Y into a lowercase OK which is another variable that we're declaring of character type okay so that's all clear very very well so far now we're, we're saying printf so as soon as this is called get num it comes here and it says enter an integer to be squared okay it says that and it captures the the, the input or the number that the user enters and we're using percent %d here scanf to capture the input uh, percent %d is for, because it's an integer number and it takes it and places it into the num and that's why we're using the and num okay so it puts it into there in that variable here so whatever numbers here goes into there so that was five it'll go five in here and it'll go in five in there so now num is equal to five makes sense so far right now what we do let's move that screen a bit okay so we're saying another printf this time and we're saying the number whatever number it was entered here it goes here so that was 5 let's f say for example num equals 5 so 5 would appear here squared is and then it would have another number here now it would get that number by squaring the number using the function called square we haven't defined square in here but it pulls it from this file here called utils because we defined it in there it borrows it it borrows into here so it as if as if it's actually in here but it's in separate files so we're breaking up the the big source code into smaller chunks and we place it into different files and one of the functions that we're placing is square we're using it from utils okay so that's all 
looks very similar to the other examples that we've done and uh, now we're adding an extra line here saying square another number so now it gave us the, the square of, of num and now we can ask the user would you like to play again or would you like to try again try another number and if he puts y or n whether it's capital or small it will capture it in here okay so it was saying we want one uh, a character of of a percent percent one s which means we're taking the first character whether it's a capital y or a, or a small y and we put the the value in again okay we put the value in again and if the value of again is identical to OK capital or it's identical to OK small to the value of those two so whether it's a capital Y or a capital small then get num that means it would call this function again if it doesn't do that if you if it doesn't equal capital Y or capital small it will just it says here else return else return basically means go back to the main function and if it goes back here it would X end it would just print end at the end okay so that's what's supposed to happen so now we try it we say uh, build so we've built and it says here linking objects and it linked all the objects together it's found uh, a few functions declared which is the square main and get num okay so we close that now we bring this window down we go to command prompt go here open this up a little bit and we put cd backslash it goes to the root if we put cd c capital examples now i've placed it into a folder called customs let's try that no nope, it's not that let's try it. custom i think it was yep, there you go put dir slash w and we see now square dot exe so we try that square and press enter and it says enter an integer to be squared we we'll put 5 and it says 5 squared is 25 we we'll put 7 We it, oops what have I done and it says oops done a mistake there I've entered something other than y and that's why it ended so we, we, we try 5 again and it says 25 we we'll try it, now it's asking us square another number we say yes we want uh, okay so it says now enter another number we put 7 and it says 49 if I put a uh, capital Y this time I press enter and it will do it correctly if I put 8 it would tell us 64 okay so now I put small n and it, it does the end okay and that's it that's it for this lesson on the next lesson we'll do another example but this time it will be multiple source files